I'm very interested to hear your response to this. So this, this woman asked, she said, why do fitness influencers act like macros will change your life even if you already track calories? Which I'm very interested to hear your response to this. I've never seen a fitness influencer act like macros will change your life even if you already track calories. Okay, but- Let's assume they do. Let's just, you don't even have to assume they do. Let's, I like, calories- just tell you how much total energy you're eating. Mm-hmm. They don't tell you anything about the composition of what you're eating and how mm-hmm. that impacts your your performance, your body composition, your sleep, your energy. It's it's if you only it would sort of be like saying I'm trying to come up with a good analogy off the top of my head, but it would sort of be like why does every financial advisor really prioritize making a budget and understanding your income and your expenses and not just understand how much money you have in your bank in total. It's like, well, it's because that can change at any point in time based on your income, based on your expenses, based on your budget, based on you want to have a certain amount saved for God forbid for an emergency. You want to know how to get more in if you need it. You want to know how to build up enough so that you can help make your money work for you. There's a lot of a deeper dive than just simply how much total you have. And that's why like, I, I think, I think that it's, if we're breaking it down, what's most important, I think calories are the most important, especially at the beginning. And especially if weight loss and fat loss specifically is the goal. But if all of your knowledge is centered around calories and you don't know deeper understanding macros or anything like that, it's sort of like, reading the back of the book, but not reading the book. Mm. You just like, you understand what it's about, Mm -hmm. but you don't really know the storyline. You don't know, you you don't really know what, what with the depth of each character, you're not really getting the whole book. You're just getting the enough to maybe pass a pop quiz in high school, but you're not actually getting enough to understand what's going on in the book. I don't know. That's my thoughts. Solid analogy. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's tremendous benefit I don't know if it'll change your whole life, but protein to start because it's the most important of the macronutrients is going to lead to, if you're just tracking calories, you're not paying attention to your macros and you're not prioritizing protein, you're almost certainly under eating protein. And if you go from not eating enough protein to eating adequate protein, you're going to build more muscle. You're going to get stronger. You're actually going to be able to hit your calorie target more consistently because having adequate protein is going to help with satiety. It's going to help regulate your hunger. It's going to help lead you to a place where you're less likely to overeat than if you were to eat the majority of your calories from carbs and fats exclusively. Um, so that's one way that, uh, focusing on your macros rather than just your calories will make a difference. Uh, between carbs and fats, by tracking carbs and fats, by tracking all three macronutrients for a period of time, at the very least, you're going to find out what, like the macronutrient composition of the foods you like to eat. And from there, you're going to find out whether or not you do better or worse on higher carb or higher fat uh, from a digestive perspective, uh, from a training performance perspective, from a a brain performance, like You know, if I have 150 carbs at breakfast because I'm bulking and I'm eating 450 grams of carbs per day, I'm in trouble for the day from a cognitive point of view. I just had 150 carb. Like my next four to six hours of work is not going to be good at all compared to if I didn't have 30 grams of carbs. If I had somewhere between like zero or 150 grams of carbs, if I had somewhere between zero and I don't know, 40 grams of carbs at breakfast with some protein and some fat. I'm going to feel much better. I'm going to be able to think more clearly. I'm not going to want to take a nap. So like by tracking, you're going to learn these things about yourself before bed. Like we all, well, I don't know if we all know, but I know that Jordan likes to have carbs before bed because it improves his sleep quality. If he didn't know that whatever, oatmeal, cinnamon toast crunch, bread, sweet potatoes, if he didn't know that these foods were carb dense, he only knew that 111 calories in this, 76 calories in this, 240 calories in this, he wouldn't know that carbs improve his sleep. Um, yeah. and, and so, yeah, you're, uh, you're not just reading the back of the book. You're reading the inside of the book. You're, you're going to have a more comprehensive understanding uh, of what you're putting in your body and how it affects you. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I wanted to hear. 
my my buddy Tyler Minton, he he said it in a way that I loved. He said, "Calories determine what you weigh, macros determine how you look, and micros determine how you feel." Mm. And I it's I think it's a little bit oversimplified. It's not a hundred percent, but overall, I really like it. Mm-hmm. I think and it, and it helps explain the benefit for everyday general population understanding. Listen, if you want to lose weight or gain weight, calories are the priority. If you want to change how your body looks, change the composition, build more muscle, lose more fat, you have to not only have your calories in check, but also your macros in check. And if you want to feel your best, you got to have a lot of micro, micronutrient dense food. You got to have a lot of like micronutrients, fruits and vegetables and all that stuff to help optimize that, that side of things. So I really like that way of looking at it and understanding The base of the pyramid, yeah, calories for sure. But just because it's the base doesn't mean the rest doesn't matter. 